Welcome to the video, it's another Chromebook and this time it's the result of some Black Friday shopping and it's this, the fully convertible Asus Flip C214MA. Now this has been available a couple of places over the Black Friday period in the UK so Lidl have had it in store for $149.99. Curry's then price matched that on their main site and it's also on their eBay page. I actually paid even less, I paid £134.10p for that on Black Friday itself because eBay had a voucher code that you could apply. I did tweet about that so if you do appreciate those kind of deal updates as they come out, then do give at MergeDroid a follow over on Twitter. As I publish the video now, it's still available at Curry's on their main site showing stock and on their eBay page. And I imagine Lidl do still have it in store places. Just keep in mind the Lidl version doesn't seem to be coming with the stylus. It seems to have a blanking plate over that. So do watch out for that. The Curry's version that I have, as I'll show you, does have the stylus. So getting into an unboxing now and let's give you a bit of a look around the machine. So on this right hand side you can see the stylus, that silver cap there. To the right of that you've got a Kensington lock port, to the left of that you've got a USB-C port, then you've got the power button with a, uh, a light for charging and then you've got a volume rocker. Now you can see that stylus popping out there so um, yeah it's fairly cheapy feeling. I'll show you it uh, working later on. It does the job and it's just nice to have that inclusion in there. So yeah, it just pops in fairly easy like that. If we uh, move around to the back, it's just the hinges there. And then we'll look around on the left-hand side of the machine. You've got a second USB-C port there, so on the far left. Then you've got a micro SD card reader slot. Then you've got a headphone jack. And then you've got a full-size USB port as well. You can see already it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Um, it is very solid feeling. It is actually pretty heavy. Um, it's about 2.14 pounds. You can check my YouTube Shorts videos to see how the weight of this compares to some of its competition um, but yeah fairly solid you can see it picking up the fingerprints it was pretty cold because it had just been delivered off a, a van um, but yeah very solid feeling very plasticky although it's got that grippy surface on top um, it just feels yeah very plasticky here's the keyboard deck very small um, touchpad there I'll show you more on that later and the keyboard as well uh, we'll get into in a bit but you can see the um, the kind of plastic layout the keys there the top of them not really impressed and then in the bottom right corner you've got this world facing camera so the idea is when you flip it around into tablet mode that is on the back of the machine a bit like your main um, camera on your phone so say if you're doing a video call and you want to flip the camera around to show what you're looking at you can do that and then there's the other webcam you see in the usual place on the top of the screen and then just giving you an impression of how uh, kind of chunky it is when it's in tablet mode perfectly usable but obviously that's the, the kind of thickness that, that you're dealing with so yeah pretty um, solid feeling pretty heavy pretty plasticky but at a very good price point here you may have noticed that service hatch on the back of the machine here's what's underneath it after you just pop out one screw I think the whole idea is to make this machine easier to service particularly in a classroom or education environment then all that's left in the box to show you is of course the power brick it's just a standard 45 watt USB-C power charger Spec-wise, the machine has 32 gig of storage, 4 gig of RAM, and the Intel Celeron N4020 processor. That means the machine's AUE date, when it'll stop receiving Chrome OS updates, is June 2026. The screen it has is an LCD touchscreen. It obviously works with the stylus that I've shown you. Um, it's about 250 nits of brightness they claim it does seem fairly bright the viewing angles aren't too bad they're better than i thought they may be and you can actually see here that the touch response and everything works fairly well it's just of course a fairly low resolution screen and probably not the best in this class Here's a screenshot from the camera app. So the front camera is 0.9 megapixels, 720p camera. And then the world facing camera that becomes the rear camera is a five megapixel, 1080p camera. Here's a bit of footage of the HP that I recently reviewed. This is on the better rear or world facing camera to start with. And then here it is using that front facing camera. Let's look at the keyboard and trackpad on this machine. Unfortunately, two areas that I think are particularly poor and kind of let it down a bit. So the keys you can see are covered in this kind of uh, rough um, texture. I think it just feels cheapy and, and the keypad, I'll show you an example of me typing on it now, it's just a bit mushy. It is spill resistant though, so that might be a plus point. I've not tested that out. Now let's just talk about the trackpad. Look at the size of it, it's so small. Look at it compared to the Acer Spin here on the left in silver. 
and then I'm going to show you it against the Lenovo Flex 3i on the left here in blue. Um, you can just really see the difference in size there and it just means using it is much more fiddly. And here's how it sounds just to give an idea but I guess we have to keep in mind the price point. On a similar note let's look at the speakers. So they are positioned underneath as you'd expect on a machine of this price and size. They're at the two corners nearest you when you're using it. And here's an impression of how it sounds from one of my recent videos. This is now my go-to power bank so I think it's pretty easy to recommend. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. So the speakers seem good for a Chromebook of this price point and size. And something else that's good, of course, is the battery life. So easily getting through a day without having to worry about charging. If you have got any questions about the machine or any thoughts on it, do pop them down in the comments below. And also, if you're looking for an alternative Chromebook of this size and this form factor, then definitely check out this next video on the channel on the Asus Spin 311 Chromebook. Cheers.